have to ask the burning question. Who do you guys feel deserves to be in the top five of this year, 2023? Shout out your number right now. Number six. Tito. Number five. Number two. Ladies and gentlemen, the five finalists in no particular order. Are you ready, ladies? Let's do this. Congratulations. Candidate number. Candidate number 12. Patricia Duenas. Congratulations. Your journey continues. Candidate number. She is. Candidate number 11. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for candidate number. Thank you. 
What is the single most important tourism asset of Salem City? And how do you think it should be used to promote the city in potential tourists? I believe the single most important tourism aspect that Cebu has are its people. The people of Cebu are strong, they are hospitable, they are generous, and they have strong faith. And whatever challenges may arise, people of Cebu are resilient. And I would tell people from all over the world to come to Cebu City because Cebuanas here are welcoming, are strong. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number 12. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. May I now call up candidate number 11. Good evening. Good evening. How, How are, are you doing? doing? I'm really good. I'm elated to be in top five. I'm very happy. How was your journey thus far? Oh, it's been tough. Being a beauty queen, you set a standard, and you have to be an influence to the youth. However, it's gratifying. Being part of top five is gratifying for me because this is my second time fighting for the crown. And being here, thank you, Senior Saturnino, for giving me this chance to grab the crowd again. Amazing. Canada number 11, ladies and gentlemen. Your family, your friends are up in the rafters now. I wish you luck. Thank you very much. My question for you is, what is the single most important tourism asset of Cebu City? And how do you think it should be used to promote the city to potential tourists? You know, one thing I love about Cebu is everything is near each other. You can enjoy something all at once. We have our highlands that gives you relaxation, that gives you peace of mind, and gives you a break. But we have a few minutes away our downtown, the buzzing life of Cebu, the nightlife that is booming. And I'd like to highlight this as Miss Cebu, that there's no other city like Cebu where you can enjoy two things minutes away. Thank you, candidate number 11. Very confident, very concise. Now call up candidate number 8. How are you feeling? Hello, Nico. I'm feeling great. How about you? Okay, naman. Buhay pa. Okay. <laughs> but at least nag enjoy ka pa. Yes, I definitely am. I love Cebu. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here for Cebu. Of course. I hope you enjoy it. I hope so. Are you feeling nervous for my question, or are you ready? I am quite nervous and ready at the same time, but, you know, you gotta carry on. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Keep calm and carry on. Yes. Alright, candidate number eight, my question for you is, what is the single most important tourism asset of Cebu City? And how do you think it should be used to promote the city to potential tourists? Cebu City is a home of endless possibilities. Not only do we have modern infrastructures, but we can also offer serene highlands and building relationships. It is the people. The people are the highlight of Cebu because it is the foundation of the tourism aspect that we have here in Cebu. Imbued with gratification and happiness, this is who we are as a Cebuano. This is the foundation of Cebu, the Cebuanos. Thank you. Thank you very much. The show must go on. Candidate number six. The suspense builds, ladies and gentlemen. We have a great group of ladies. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm great, and we do have a great group of ladies. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Now that you're here with me. Yeah, thank you. That's How are you feeling? Do you feel adrenaline? Are you, are you confident? Well, I feel some adrenaline. I think I brought the whole barangay with me today. Tanzina! Where's your barangay? Show your support. Thank you so much. <laughs> are you ready for my question? Yeah, I yeah. am. Let's do this. What is the single most important tourism asset of Cebu City? And how do you think it should be used to promote the city to potential tourists? Cebu City is versatile. 
Its quality of versatility is its strongest asset because in a 20 minute drive, you are at the highlands, you are at the urban, you have heritage, and you have so much more even the coastlines. We showcase the best of the Philippines, and that is a great and amazing and enough reason for us to be global so that we can bring Cebu to the world together by focusing on tourism and of course, our Cebuanos. Thank you. Canada number six, ladies and gentlemen. Maraming salamat, thank you very much. Great job. Last but not least, candidate number seven. Please join me on that front. Good evening. Good evening. How you're are the you? last one to go. I'm sure your heartbeat is pounding right now. For sure. <laughs> are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Let's do this. My question for you is, candidate number seven. What is the single most important tourism asset of Cebu City? And how do you think it should be used to promote the city to potential tourists? The best asset of Cebu is each one of you, its people, us Cebuanos. Cebu is what it is today because of us, of our hard work, of preserving our history, of our Christianity most especially. And this is where I come in as hopefully your next to Cebu. I will be. I vow to be an active ambassador of Cebu. I will banner the best asset of Cebu to the world. Thank you. And thanks There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Candidate number seven. Thank you very much. Wow, that was fun. What do you guys think? Who really caught your eye in that Q&A? Was it candidate number 12? Was it candidate number 11? Was it candidate number 8? How about candidate number 6? Or candidate number 7? This is going to be an exciting finish, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give our final five finalists a big round of applause. Before we get to the conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, here is a final look at our five finalists. With Phil, uh, joining us is Phil Canadian singer, actor, and director. Let's put our hands together for none other than Darren Espanto. They will also be 
of course, you know, our, uh, our fourth runner up from 2022 will then turn over Ms. Carla Marie Francis Neri will award her new fourth runner. The fourth runner up, ladies and gentlemen, will receive a jewelry set worth 10,000 pesos from Aura Galleria. 10,000 worth of beauty services from Skin 911. Beauty services from Bell Medical Group and 50,000 pesos cash prize from Cebu City Tourism Commission and many more prizes to be flashed on the screen. Cebu, here we go. Miss Cebu 2023 fourth runner-up is candidate number Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we only have two ladies remaining in the competition. Only one of them will be crowned Miss Cebu 2023. May I request the remaining two ladies to please come forward in Genesis. The first runner up will receive 30,000 pesos worth of jewelry from Amoro Galleria, 40,000 pesos worth of beauty services from Skin 911, beauty services from Better Medical Group, and 75,000 cash prize from the Cebu City Tourism Commission, and many more prizes shown on the screen. Miss Cebu 2023 will receive 50,000 pesos worth of jewelry from Moro Galleria, 50,000 worth of beauty services from Skin 911, beauty services from Metal Medical Group, and 100,000 pesos crash prize from Cebu City Tourism Commission and your round trip ticket, ladies and gentlemen, to the USA, courtesy of Ambassador Healthcare. Miss Cebu will also automatically become Miss Ambassadore with an, an additional prize of 10,000 pesos to award Mr. and Mrs. John Zagdan. <laughs> to present the award to the first runner up are Cebu City Vice Mayor, Raymond Vice Mayor Raymond Alvin Garcia and the Chairman of the Board of Judges, Ms. Nellis Pimentel and last year's first runner up, Ms. Danica Ann Ocampo. To accompany them is also Mr. Tristan Las Marias from the Philippines. And to crown our Miss Cebu 2023, let's please welcome to the stage Mayor Michael Rama together with his lovely wife, Madame Malu Rama, and Miss Cebu 2022, Gabriela Mai Carvalho. <laughs> First, the first runner-up, and then Miss Cebu. Remember that the first runner-up's role is very crucial. Even in any case, Miss Cebu 2023 cannot fulfill her duties and responsibilities. The first runner-up will automatically take her place. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two ladies remaining. Is it candidate number eight or candidate number 12? Junja 
Music Productions. Dagang salamat kaninyo tanan and a job well done. To our second host, OJ Sinabranca and Chris Tiffany Hansen. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nico Loco and it's been a true pleasure hosting this event for you this evening. And to everyone, Dagang salamat and happy fiesta.